uh, today I'm here uh, with a little surprise I would say that um, I got that little surprise probably like four or five years ago and it's been sitting here in my basement on my shelf properly storage and uh, today I said well let me just put that little baby up and see how it goes what I'm talking about is about that little baby right here uh, mini sis SIIG 2000 series uh, that is a really really sweet maybe the sweetest of the 286 that I have here and as you guys can see here is the whole computer so let's open the box show you guys that is my little baby as you guys can see that is a uh, 286 uh, uh, 12 megahertz uh, it came with a uh, 1 megabyte of memory at the time when I got it uh, it didn't have a uh, power supply so I built that power supply which came out really good even no nope. and um, the nicest thing about that little computer uh, is for the time you know, it is really really small and I would say they I think so here on the box would we'll say all the specs yep uh oh it has a c eight cga is a 16 megahertz processor on it that's cool so uh, let's get here guys to show you i'm gonna hot up the power on it and the cool thing is it's cool and at the same time i didn't like too much it came with two Home ports, printer port. I mean, oh, that's external flop drive connector. That's a printer port, a game port, and a CGA port. And also has a video composite right here. I installed a sound blaster on it. So let's just connect the power here and show you guys here we go so let me just move the camera a little bit here so it will be easier for you guys to take a look Let me just get a little close up the monitor. So, uh, let's hit the power. The hard drive is a little bit noisy, you know? Ah, and just to show, I forgot to show you before, but also right here, let me just get it. That I forgot. Is that little keyboard that I got a while ago that is really small too and fits perfectly.
Oh, the berry is still good for a while. Okay. It's a color for you. Escape. Yes. Enter. And right now there's 2.1 gigabytes, megabytes of RAM. Oh, the hard drive. Yeah, maybe they lost the config for the hard drive. So, as you guys could see, uh, I thought that was a 16 megahertz CPU, but that is a 10 megahertz 286 CPU and has no match processor, the coprocessor. But I have a little surprise for that little baby. Let me just disconnect everything on here. And I'm gonna show you guys too. Anyway, I have to open because the CMOS lost the hard drive config and I don't remember at all so I have to take everything apart to see uh, the hard drive info put back on the BIOS and try to boot from the hard drive let me just grab the phone from here As you guys can see, that's a really, really neat machine. And right here is the co-processor socket, which I just got it. I ordered three a while ago. As I have two more machines that needs a co-processor, so let's just get one of those. Yeah, that matches. That's uh, 10 megahertz too. Let me just see if I can do it one hand. The pins is a little bit bent here. As you guys can see, let me just unbend a little bit. That one here too, that one here too. And I think here we go. We have a 287 10 megahertz co-processor in place. Nice. So the only thing that I have to do now, I have to get some screws out from here because the hard drive sits right here and is upside down. So I need to get the config of the hard drive to put back on the BIOS. So let's just get back the phone on the stand. And here we go. So I think I just need to get the flop drive power, the flop drive connector, and
think I need no I can't because right here oh, I can get the sound card out have to take everything apart looks like oh no good I could get that outside and here we go that's all I need right here the hard drive parameters you guys can see on here see right here that's all I need okay so I got let just write down I, I'm recording but just let me just write down so it'll be faster right now. So I can put everything back right away and just start for the hard drive. That should be 899. It'll be 16 cylinders. 62 heads or better uh, 899 cylinders 16 heads and 62 sectors And is a four hundred and twenty eight megabytes. All right, so let's put it back and see if I can boot from there. But before I do, since it's open, let's let me get some more close-ups from you guys for you guys or the internals and you guys can see the boat bios and here is a memory is a 618 thing that's a memory I think that's looks like a, con a keyboard controller yep a keyboard BIOS here we have the, the main chip and right here is the processor itself the 286 12 megahertz so back on here I have a socket for a 2764 
that must be maybe a EEPROM for the video card but since that's nothing on it I don't know that's the video card chip right there and the two sticks of memory I try to put a bigger memory on here but looks like that machine only accepts maximum 2 giga 2 megabytes of memory because it already has I think so 5 and 12 on board and two more sticks goes to 2.5 megabytes Okay, just get back on here and let me just put everything back. Two more down here. Connect back to that flat drive. The flat power connector. Put back the sound card. back and see if I can get that booting from the hard drive since I get the right config right now Oh, the cool thing, uh, the core processor is already showing present, what's good. So let's try to go to the BIOS. So, cylinders, 899.
15 heads. And 62 sectors. Four hundred eight. Great. Looks like. Let's see if they boots. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> 